This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show, starring your favorite video games and some brand new ones being introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. And now, here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards. Hi, welcome to Starcade. Here we are backstage where our players are warming up for today's big match because today, one of them is going to have the opportunity to win their very own video arcade game. Warm up time You guys ready? Yeah. Let's go play Starcade. Here we go. studio audience here today. Welcome. Nice to have you here at Starcade. This is where it all happens. And let's meet our contestants right now. Your name, please? Leo Schwab. Leo, nice to know you. How are you? I'm fine. Good. You got any hobbies or anything you want to tell us about? Yeah, I'm into uh, computers and electronics. Ah, good for you. What's that in your hand? Uh, this is a little goofy Christmas ornament I put up as a college project. Uh-huh. Uh, it just flashes lights randomly. I don't think you can see it in the lights. All right, good. Well, in that case, uh, disconnect the battery and we'll move on. <laughs> All right, nice to have you here, Leo. Vance, I know your first name. What's your last name? McGurk. Vance McGurk, what do you do for, uh, for fun? Well, I play video games and my hobbies are basketball and table tennis. Okay, I think we're going to have a good game today. The two of you have been matched up according to your playing ability and playing today's games. And today, one of you is going to have a chance to win this fabulous video arcade game. It is Burger Time. Wow. One of my favorite games. So shake hands, let's go play Starcade. Here we go. Good luck to you both. And while they're going over there, Kevin will tell us what games we're going to be dealing with today. Kevin? Game number one today, Super Pac-Man. And the great one is back. Game two, Super Zaxxon, a far-out flight in space. Game number three today, Bagman, a race for bucks. In the fourth position, pole position, an exhilarating race. And number five today, Star Trek, a mission to explore new worlds. Jeff? Okay, thanks a lot. Now, today, uh, today's five games Kevin just told you about. Both of you have had a chance to play them before today's show, but I want to tell you this. One of them is the mystery game. If you pick that in the first three games, you're going to win a great prize. Now, Kevin is going to whisper to the home audience what the mystery game is. Pole position. All right, everybody knows now except the three of us. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. The first one to buzz in gets to answer the question, answer correctly, and you'll pick the first Starcade game. So hands on buzzers. In the game Kangaroo, ringing of the bell signifies A, the safe return of the baby kangaroo, B, replenishing fruit supply. Vance. Replenishing fruit supply. Yes, B, replenishing fruit supply is right. Good for you. All right, you got the advantage. That means you get to pick the game. There's five games up there. Which game do you want to play first? Star Trek. Big pardon, Star Star Trek? Trek? Star Trek it is. Kevin, how do you play Star Trek? Welcome aboard, Captain. Command the Starship Enterprise on a Star Trek adventure. Your mission is to seek out and destroy Nomad and his gang of Klingon ships. Defend the star bases and the Enterprise from their continued assault. Keep your eye on the sector scanner to spot the approaching enemy, then zap them out of the galaxy using your targeting scanner. Dock with star bases for repairs and supplies, but be wary of antimatter saucers. The dangers are many in the game of Star Trek. Okay, Vance, well, you're starting us off in uh, good stead. Man, Star Trek is a pretty, uh, pretty tough game. Yeah, I think so. Uh, it's not my favorite game, but I'll see what I can do. Well, you're the one who picked it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Star Trek it is. Uh, you can get a lot of points there. Now, there's two schools of thought. Some, some people say you should dock at the star base uh, when you run low. Others say forget about it and just keep getting points. You pick out what you want to do. You'll have 50 seconds to play the game. You set to go? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, turn around. You ready? Get set. Play. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There you go. Almost. Right. You got him. All right. All right. Good. All right. Check it. Secure it on the next section. It's a little tougher. All right. Pretty good. 25 seconds. Good shot. All right. 14 seconds. We got time for more points here. Right. Good. Maybe get some more points. 
No, that's it. 15,425. I thought that wasn't your favorite game. No, it's not, but I, I practice on it. Well, if you do better on some other game, you're going to be really tough to beat. Head on back, Vance, and uh, let's get Leo down here. Well, Leo, is, is this your favorite game? I enjoy it, yes. Oh, well, okay for you. <laughs> All right, he got over 15,000 points. That's a lot to beat. You got any particular strategy you're going to use? Uh, I tend to avoid star bases because if you use them, the, your points go down dramatically. Ah, uh -huh. see, that's what I said. Some people say that's the way to do it. Okay, turn around. Here we go. 50 seconds. Ready? Get set. Play. <laughs> Fine, that's quick. Well, Leo's played this game before. 34 seconds, plenty of time. Wiping him out. 20 seconds, plenty of time. Doing great. No problem here. On to the next sector. Ten seconds. You're going to get a bonus. Twenty-eight thousand one hundred and twenty-five. You really play that game. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, stay right here. We're going to be back in just a few moments. When we come back, we'll find out which player is going to pick the next game right here on Starcade. The grand prize today on Starcade is the video arcade game Burger Time, a unique game of building burgers while being chased by hot dogs, pickles, and eggs. Burger Time, a great prize furnished by Data East. And now back to more Starcade with Jeff Edwards. Okay, whichever one of you guys, if, if you do win Burger Time, you got to invite me over to your house. I love that game. All right, let's check a look at the score, and we find out that Vance has a grand total of 15,425 so far. Not bad. Let's take a look at Leo's score. 28,125. Well, Leo, you're in the lead, but I'll remind you there's still one more game to be played in this round, and the total score on both games will determine who gets to play the name the game board. And I'm going to ask you another question. You all set? Remember, first one to buzz in gets to answer the question. Answer it correctly, you'll pick the next game. When the domino man whacks with bully, or uh, I guess whacks bully with a domino, the bully, A, gets mad, B, gets embarrassed. Vance. Gets mad. No, sorry. He gets embarrassed. And, Leo, that means you pick the game. Now, we have four games left. The mystery game hasn't been picked yet. Let's see how you do. Which one do you want to play? Hmm. Well, uh, I don't know. Let's try Super Pac-Man. Super Pac-Man. Okay. That's a fun game. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it. Uh, Kevin certainly is. Kevin? It's one of my favorites. The mild-mannered Pac-Man mildly eats rows of fruit and objects and chomps a few monsters to rack up points. Special keys open gates to more fruit, and the super button control gives him an extra burst of super speed. Chomping a super dot, he changes to Super Pac-Man, ten times his normal size, and able to chomp as he pleases, where he pleases, invincible to the monster's pursuit. It sounds like my kids at the dinner table. Okay, uh, Leo, I, I, mean, I know you know how to play Super Pac-Man. Do you have a particular pattern you're going to use? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, and you don't want to tell what it is because you don't want Vance to know, right? No. <laughs> All right. Yeah, 50 seconds. Turn around. Don't forget your acceleration button. Ready? Get set. Play. There we go. Whoa, Super Pac-Man acceleration button is going. Job on everything in sight. Whoa. Out. Look at him go. Oh, when he said he had a pattern, he did. Almost slipped up there, but you're okay. Only time, 10 seconds. Great, look out. Oh, he got you. Might be time to set the C. Two, one. No, no more time. 9,460. Not bad. Uh, short period of time. How do you think you did? Uh, reasonably well. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> you sure speak good for a guy who spends most of his life in a video arcade. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Head on back. Come on down here, Vance. Oh, now he said that uh, he said he had a pattern. Do you have a pattern? No, I don't have a pattern, but... Well, I got news for you. You better figure one out. <laughs> I'll try. I'll see what I can do. Okay, he's awful good. Good luck to you. You need some points here. You have 50 seconds. Ready? Get set. Play. <laughs> Be careful, got the start. Look out, look out. They're gonna catch you. That's all right, another one coming up. You have about 23 seconds here. There we go. Look out. May have time for another couple of points. Any points count. Here you go. All right, 5,440. You, you said you missed something there. Uh, I missed this uh, Energizer right here. The Energizer, yeah, which made you super packed. Power again. pill, yeah. Okay, let's head on back, and we're going to find out who's going to play the name of the game. Right, so we'll total up the scores from both games to see who gets to play the name of the game board. Vance, you have a grand total of 20,865. Not bad. Leo, you have 37,585. You're the winner so far. Come on down here. And we'll play Name the Game. Now, what we're going to do is behind you, you have the Name the Game board. We'll show you four video games. If you name the games correctly, you're going to win some good prizes. Kevin? For three correct answers, Leo, you'll win Mr. Disc, a compact, personal, portable phonograph no bigger than a man's shoe. Plays 45s and LPs from its own self-contained batteries, Mr. Disc. And for four correct answers, it's Sicy Sensor Chess, providing the realism of intelligent chess and the performance of a computer in a compact package. Sicy's provides eight levels of strategic play for the beginner to the advanced player. Sicy's. You know, you're so good at this, Leo. I think what we should do to make it fair is we should ask you to name them without looking at them. <laughs> All right, turn around here. In the upper left-hand corner is where we're going to start. Is that Explorer or Space Duel? Uh, Explorer. Right you are, one right. Is this Stargate or Defender? Stargate. That is uh, Defender. Sorry, one wrong. Next, is that Space Rock or Asteroid? Asteroids. Asteroids is right. Good for you. And finally, four, Eliminator or Black Spiral? Eliminator. Eliminator is right. You got three right. Three out of four, and that means you get Mr. Disc. Congratulations. You are a good player, and we're going to take a break right now. We'll find out now who's going to have a chance to win their own video arcade game. We'll be right back. Here's the latest news from the Starcade Hotline. There's a video game only a few will ever get to play. It's a space capsule, computer program to respond with rowing, pitching, and yawing up to 60 feet vertically, 40 feet laterally, and 8 feet longitudinally. The visual in the cockpit is fed through a TV camera that scans a large three-dimensional model of the Earth below. Every aspect of this video game is designed to simulate, in the most minute detail, space flight, because the people who fly it are playing for keeps. They're astronauts, and this is NASA's Space Shuttle Simulator. And now back to more video games with Jeff Edwards. Well, for a second, Kevin, I thought we were going to have a new game here. That sounds wild. All right, Vance and Leo, we're at round number two. This is the big challenge. There's only one game left to play. This time, only 40 seconds left to play it. After that, we're going to total up all the scores, and the top scorer on all games is going to get a chance to win that video arcade game, and that is Burger Time. So here's your last question. Vance, you're going to want to get this one right because you're sure going to want to pick the game. Here we go. In Bump and Jump, in order to jump clear over each roadway menace, the player's car must accelerate to at least what speed? A, 100 miles. B, 100 miles. Leo, uh, what, 100, 100 miles. miles. Yes, you answered even before I saw you were there. I think Leo wants to pick the last game. All right, Leo, just one thing to tell you. The mystery game is still unchosen here. I'll go for Super Zaxxon. Super Zaxxon. Super Zaxxon it is. 
That was not the mystery game. The mystery game uh, in today's play was pole position. Ooh. Okay, but you pick Super Zaxxon, and Kevin will tell us how to play. Kevin? You'll travel at supersonic speeds through the galaxy in your Super Zaxxon spacecraft. Soar past an ominous floating fortress, scoring points by battling hidden rockets, rotating turrets, tracking parabolic antennas, super spaceships, and maser barriers. Survive the Tunnel of Doom and face the fire-breathing dragon. It's Super Zaxxon. All right, Leo, you picked Super Zaxxon. How long have you been playing video games? Oh, about two, two and a half years. Is that all? Boy, you sure are good. I've been playing for about 30 years. I started when there were radio games. You probably don't remember <laughs> that. Okay, we're going to play Super Zaxxon. What's the secret to this game? Uh, to stay in the air. <laughs> to stay in the air. All right. You're not going to give any of your secrets away, I can tell. Turn around. You'll have 40 seconds to play. Ready? Get set. Play. Oops, he didn't stay in the air. Here he goes again. Down with the missile. Electronic barrier. Whoop. There he goes again, trying to stay in the air. He watched it. Then he did not stay in the air. 26 seconds. Electronic barrier coming up. Got over that, trying to get in the tunnel now. He does not get in the tunnel. 12 seconds to go. One more try for the tunnel. Over the electronic barrier. Into the tunnel. Get some points now. 4,900 points. You had a little trouble staying in the air. Well, it's not my best game. Okay, Leo, head on back. Let's see what Vance can do. Come on down here, Vance. Oh, Vance. Denver, right there, if you want, my friend, you have your work cut out for. You're going to have 40 seconds to play this game. You want to try to get in the tunnel because you desperately need points, okay? Okay. All right, we'll wish you good luck. Get ready. Get set. Play. Okay. Nope. Got hit. 40 seconds left. Try to get in that tunnel. That's important to you now. You got to get those points. Go the electronic barrier. Good. Look out. Oh. Where'd that guy come from? Go the electronic barrier. There's that same guy. Look. Oh, he got you again. You can't get past that one. Go the electronic barrier. Oh, you didn't even get over the barrier. Come on, Vance. Oh. 2,300. Okay, Vance. You had a little trouble there, babe. Let's head on back. And we're going to find out. Who has a chance to go for the video arcade game Burger Time? Let's take a look at the final scores. Vance, a grand total of 23,165. Leo, a grand total of 42,485. You're the winner. Congratulations to you. Good game. Well, Vance, it was a, kind of a tough game, and uh, we have to say goodbye to you, but I enjoyed meeting you. Hope you had a good time. It was a nice playing. Oh, good. And we have okay. some consolation prizes for you, okay. so it's not a total waste. Thank you, Joe. All right, nice to see you. And Leo, you've done just great. You got a uh, prize on name the game. You're the winner of the day, so you have something else, too. Right, Kevin? Right you are, Jeff. It's the Texas Instruments Home Computer and Monitor for education, home finance, and entertainment. You're not just playing, you're learning with the Home Computer and Monitor from Texas Instruments. And... Now you have three computers. Well, they can talk to each other while you're not home. And you've also won the right to play for our grand prize, which is Burger Time, your very own video arcade game. We'll see how well Leo does right after these games. Some of the Starcade staff stays at the beautiful Pacific Plaza Hotel, a small Grand Lux hotel in the European tradition, one block from Union Square in San Francisco. Some of our contestants and some members of the studio audience will receive Trigger Command, the joystick making America trigger happy, comfort, pistol grip, and trigger action, the thumbless approach to higher scores, the Trigger Command joystick from Electra Concepts, and three brand new games for the VIC-20 by Tronix, Scorpion, Deadly Skies, and Gold Fever, fast action, complex strategy, superior sound, and multiple levels of play by Tronix. And electronic fun with computers and games. It's the magazine of the computer age. Fun to read, witty, and informative. It's the ultimate magazine for gamers and computer users of all ages. Electronic fun with computers and games. And welcome back to Starcade. Okay, Leo, now it's a big challenge. This is a chance to win your own video arcade game. We have still two games left on play. That's Pole Position and Bagman. 
During the commercial break, we informed you that if you picked pole position, you'd have to score at least 6,914 points. If you picked bag man, you'd have to score at least 2,074 points. Now, those are the average scores of more than 20 other players who played these very same games. Now, you've reached a decision. I understand you picked pole position? That is correct. Pole position is correct. That means if you scored 6,914 points or more in 30 seconds, you're going to win this burger time. So, while Kevin tells us about pole position, let's get over and we'll get you ready to drive. Get behind the wheel of a Formula One racing machine and experience an incredible contest of driving skill and endurance. Increase your score by accelerating to top speeds and passing other cars on the course. Complete the course with time to spare and earn more points. If you're the best, you'll qualify for the pole position in the race to come. Jeff? Okay, this is it. 6,914 points in 30 seconds, and that grand prize is yours. Uh, This has been your good luck charm so far. You want to do anything with it? Yeah, I'll put it up front. All right, put it up front, and I'll get ready to start the game for you. Ready? Okay. 30 seconds. Get set. Play. When a green light hits, you're off. You're off. Watch 6,914 points. Watch out for that fourth turn. 20 seconds left. 2,000 points. Pass one car, 4,000 points. Look out. Boom! Get ready to start again. Here you go. 5,000. You need 6,114. Oh, no. 6,040 just missed. Boy, I thought you were going to have it. If you hadn't hit that car, you would have hit. Yeah. Well, you won a lot of good prizes here anyway, Leo, on the show. You're a good player. Nice to meet you. Nice to have had you on the show. Here's some friends here to say hello. This is Jeff Edwards. Thank you to the studio audience for being with us. Thank you at home. And I shall see you next time right here on Starcade. Until then, I hope all your troubles get zapped. Bye-bye. Furnished by the Tailored Man of San Francisco. Some of the Starcade set furnished by RCA. This is Kevin McMahon speaking. Starcade is a JM production.